What's up, plant people? So for today's video, I will be showing you guys how to ship cuttings or potted plants in the mail. It does differ between a potted plant and cuttings, obviously. So I'll be showing you both of those methods and um, how I do that. I also have lots of experience shipping plants. I have both an Etsy and a Depop shop, which I'll list in the description below if you wanna check it out. But I've been doing this for about a year and a half now and I've had pretty good feedback as far as shipping all of my plants. So hopefully this will give you guys some good pointers or some new methods on how to ship your plants. But just to start with the basics, I'm gonna talk about what supplies you will need. When I package my plants, I like to use recyclable materials. So if I'm gonna go and buy something, it's going to be recyclable. But I also like to reuse packaging as well, so I'm just recycling that at home. Whether that be newspaper or packaging that I've gotten from another order that I ordered. I don't know, there's lots of different ways to use recyclable material. And all of these items that I'm going to list are flexible. I will be using newspaper to wrap my plants with and paper towel to wrap the roots with originally and then put the bubble wrap over it. And then I'll also be using both of these tapes just because I like to use decorative tape when I send them just to add a little bit of cuteness, but you could also totally use just plain tape. So now that I've gone over what materials I will be using, we can just go ahead and start packaging the plants. To begin, I'll be packaging potted plants and then we'll do the clippings. In order for me to properly show you, you're not gonna be able to see my face, but you'll be able to see my hands and the plants. So we'll just reposition. I hope that transition worked, we'll see. So I will be demonstrating how to pot, I mean how to package the potted plants with a strawberry syngonium. And then also just a this golden pothos. So what I will do is gently, gently, I will lightly dampen two paper towels. Some of it's still dry, some of it's still wet. That's what I want. And I kind of just curl it up. And then I wrap it around the plant so that it keeps the soil in place. All right, now that I have the paper towel wrapped around the top of the plant, that will keep the soil in place so that when it's moving around and shipping, the soil won't come out and get all over the box. So I'm gonna take just two pieces of tape per plant to keep the paper towel in place. So I just put it over top like this on each side of the plant. All right, so now that both of my plants are good to go, I can go ahead and wrap them up in newspaper and then put them in my box. So I'm going to lay my plant sideways on the piece of paper that I'm wrapping it up in. And then I'm just going to slowly wrap it up, tucking the leaves up. Like so. All right. And then once that is wrapped up, I'm gonna put a piece of tape on it to secure it. And then I'm also going to put one up top. All right, and then there is my packaged potted plant. When I lay it down in the box, I'll just make sure that there's some you know, crumpled up newspaper surrounding it, just so that it's not just flying around in the box. It has something to keep it in place. And I'll just go ahead and demonstrate one more time with this strawberry syngonium, just so that you can see once again, how I like to um, put it in the newspaper. All 
All right, so now I'm going to be showing you guys how to package cuttings. Um, this can go for if the cutting has roots or if it doesn't. So this doesn't really matter either one. And pretty much the only difference is you will be wetting the paper towel a little bit more and then we're gonna wrap the roots up and then wrap it in newspaper. So this time your paper towel is going to be a little bit more damp since it's going directly on either the roots or the nodes. So it needs to have a little bit more moisture during shipment. Today I will be using two different types of examples. So I have an Adam Sanyai narrow variety and this one does not have any roots formed yet. I'll be showing you a Hartley philodendron that does have roots. Take the Adam Sanyai and place it in the top left corner of the paper towel. You're going to fold the left corner over and this is just how I do it. You can do it however you want. And then I fold it up to where it meets the top of the paper towel. And then at that point, I just roll it. Roll, roll, roll. And the same thing goes with the Heartleaf Philodendron. I put it in the top left corner. Just making sure that the roots are positioned to where they won't break. Fold over the left side. Fold up the bottom. And then roll. And then now I'm going to take my bubble wrap and then wrap that paper towel just to make sure that my roots or nodes are really nicely protected. And also it's gonna help keep in that moisture in the paper towel during shipment. So here I have some bubble wrap. I'm only gonna cut what I need. So now that I have my little piece of bubble wrap, I'm going to take the side that doesn't have the bubbles on it and lay my cutting in there and I'm gonna treat it just like how I treated the paper towel. So fold it over, fold it up, and then roll. And then at this point, I will go ahead and take a piece of tape and tape it. And there we go. All right, so now that both of my cuttings are wrapped up, I'm going to once again wrap them in newspaper. So I treat it kind of just like the potted plant. I make sure that the leaves are facing north. And then I just slowly wrap it up in the newspaper. That is sealed with some tape. And then I seal the top as well. And now I'll do it with the other one. All right, so that is how I package and send my cuttings and potted plants in the mail. Hopefully you got a little bit of information or advice from this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up or comment down below. Um, I do post a couple times a week, so subscribe if you'd like to see some more plant-related videos. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.